Hi, let me introduce myself. I am worker number 108 in a hive near you. My friends call me Buzz. I like that more than the other name. Our queen has asked me to bring an important message for the human world. Her Majesty wishes me to emphasize that our lives depend on it. As you know, our environment has become more and more compromised, and this has led to some excellent interventions. But I'm here to talk to you about another bee that's in danger of extinction, the human being. Bees and human beings are not the same, of course. We experience the world through different lenses and we organize ourselves differently. Human beings are not as organized or clear on their purpose, but maybe you'll get there. We also have a lot in common. We share a common home. And like us, human beings are not separate from the environment, but depend on it. Us bees know that. Most human beings, however, don't seem to understand. I suspect that's because the lens you experience the world through makes you believe that you are just separate bodies who have to compete with each other for scarce resources on a finite planet. And even those of you who sense our mutual interconnectedness often respond in a way that only reinforces the basic problem, separateness. That vision leads to so many more problems, like violence, Violence is, after all, another way of saying that you and I are separate, that somehow you can be happy if I'm suffering. But there's no time left for violence. Climate change is a major crisis facing us all. And yet, where there is crisis, there is also opportunity. It may be a way to wake up human beings to your true nature. I believe that nonviolence is part of that. Non-violence is a force that comes from within when you transform your feelings of separateness into relationships. In this beloved community, you feel responsibility to one another in ways that help you make better choices because you can see the long-term consequences of your actions and then you'll open up to the higher reality. There's a lot of room in the hive. If you don't destroy it first, that is, here are a few useful non-violence principles. The person is not the problem. The problem is the problem. Focus on it together. Everyone has a piece of the truth. Respect everyone, including yourself. Don't make threats or yield to them. To be collaborative, you need to be creative. People can change their awareness and perspective. And they do. But most importantly, you have an important contribution to make in this effort. By being yourself. You are here for a great purpose. Want to take action? I've heard the folks at Meta have great tools for you to bring nonviolence into practice. Visit them at metacenter.org.